Hello, this is going to be a basic guide for creating a Harmony mod for Valheim using BepinX. To start, I have a Windows VM here with only Chrome and Valheim installed. Before we begin writing code, we're going to need to grab a few tools. First, download Visual Studio Community, which is a free IDE for editing C Sharp, the language that the Valheim scripts are written in. After downloading, you should see this window pop up. You only need .NET Desktop Development, so click that and then hit Install. Once that is finished, you should see this screen. Skip creating an account. Select whatever theme you like. And start Visual Studio. After that, you actually want to close this for now along with the installer, and we're going to grab the next tool, which is Isle Spy. This will allow you to see the Valheim source code so that you know uh, what values you need to edit. Download this. Uh, it's actually a plugin for Visual Studio, so you'll run the file and install it directly into your Visual Studio community install. Shortly after making the original version of this guide, Nexus Mods started supporting Valheim mods through Vortex, which is their mod manager. I would highly recommend using Vortex instead of the BepinX pack download, so I will walk through that method now and leave the other method after this just in case you still want to do it that way. So to get Vortex, come to the site and download. Uh, pick either install. The standard install location works for me. After the download finishes, install Vortex. After installing, log in, authorize Vortex, go to Games, search for Valheim, and allow Nexus Vortex to manage that game. Download the required extension. Set the folder, and finally download the unstripped assemblies. You can use the Vortex link for this. Go back to Vortex and enable the mod. After doing so, you can go to the game directory. You'll see that the folder and file structure is very similar to the BEP and X pack setup, and you'll get the same functionality here. I'll put a timecode in the description where to skip ahead to skip over BEP and X pack. The final tool you'll need is BEP and X which has already been put together for Valheim. You'll come to this page and download this. Then open the file location, unzip it, go into BEP and XPAC Valheim, select these files, and you're going to copy them into your game install. The easiest way to do that is to go to Steam, right click on your game, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse, and paste the files in here. 
The next thing you're going to do is reopen Visual Studio and create a new project. Select C Sharp for the language and you're going to build a .NET Framework library. Name it Valheim Mod and pick any framework that starts with a 4. After creating this project, I like to rename the class to something better. So we'll highlight this and call it Valheim Mod. Then we'll also rename the class here. The final step we need to take before writing any code in this file is to import several libraries that will support our development. Right click on your project, open it in Explorer, then create a new folder in this directory called libs. Go back to your game installation directory and we're going to grab several DLL files out of this area. I'll put a list of the files you need in the description. After putting all these files in the libs directory, return to Visual Studio, right click on references and hit add reference. Browse, then return to the libs directory you created earlier or copy the path and paste it in here. Highlight all of these files, then add them to the project and hit OK. To make this a bit easier, I'm going to paste the completed code in here and then explain step by step. First, we import the references we need directly using these statements at the top of the file. In order, this allows you to use BepinX, Harmony, and then the base Unity engine. Next. We want to add these annotations to the main class, which initialize BEP and X. You'll see here that you assign a unique ID, a name, and a version to your mod. This next statement simply tells BEP and X that it will execute on the Valheim EXE. You also need to make sure that your class extends the base Unity plugin to function correctly. Next, I like to set up Harmony here. This allows for use of certain debugging tools in the future, including Script Engine, which is a live reload debugging tool for Valheim. You don't have to do it this way, but this is simply my preference. To make Harmony actually apply all of your patches, you need to place this statement inside the awake function, which just means that as soon as the game loads, Harmony will apply any methods you put below in this area. Finally, you want to write an actual Harmony patch. This is a prefix patch, which means your code will execute before the original code. In this instance, we are patching the character object and the jump method, meaning each time you jump, this code will execute before you jump. To find the values you need to use for this code, you will use ILSpy, which we installed earlier. To do that, return to your references, right click on Assembly Valheim and open it in ILSpy. You'll see here that all of the code for Valheim is loaded. To look for what we want, we open the character object and we find the jump method. We 
we can see here that jumping uses a lot of code, but what we care about is the initial jump force. Back in our code, we say that we want to set the jump force to a higher number before executing the jump. These log statements will be visible alongside your Valheim game while it is running. To add a little more detail here, the three underscores before the value means that we are referencing the original Unity value. By using ref in the variable definition, we are able to write to the value. Finally, we want to build this project and then move the library into your installation. You can use this menu or push control B. Return to your project directory by right clicking on your project and opening it in Explorer. Then go to bin debug and copy the Valheim mod DLL. Go back to your game directory. Go to BepinX, Plugins, and paste your code in here. Next time the game runs, your mod should load. Next time you launch the game, you should be able to Alt-Tab out and find a debug console window. Inside this window, you can scroll up and see that your mod loaded. After loading into your character, you should be able to jump super high. If you bring up the console, you can see that the original jump force was somewhere around 8 to 10, and your modified jump force is now 15. If you have any questions, I'll put my contact information in the description, and I'm more than happy to assist. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.